We're in the middle of a discussion about online marketing with psychologist Jim Lin. It's a wide-ranging discussion and was a lot of fun. Jim's experience allows him to draw from so many sources, from the past and present, and he's able to weave them together in some really interesting ways. This time we're talking about the varied content necessary to begin online relationships and the ever-present authenticity question. This is Videotech, where every week we try to help companies make the most of their online marketing. I'm Scott Combs. I hope you'll like our videos and share them with your friends and colleagues. It appears companies who market online must develop varied content that appeals to the affable, the no-nonsense, the thinking, the feeling, all of these things and all of those personality types. My thought is, and I'm certainly not a, I'm, I'm not a web marketing uh, guru by any means, but my my basic intuition tells me that when you're, when, when you're looking for uh, customers, when you're attempting to build your tribe, uh, you want, to, uh, you want to, to send out there some kind of uh, a message about what you are, what you're about. You want to educate people. You want to give them some good, solid content that creates value, that makes them think that they like and appreciate and they want to hear more from you. I mean, that's, that's how I see a relationship starting, an online relationship. It's really one of, one of I'm educating, I'm giving, I'm sharing, I'm hopefully providing value. And obviously with, with, the, with, with the web, I mean, this, this goes, goes out to potentially millions of people, but the question is how do you, how do you find, there, there may only be, uh, I only need 100 or 200 or 1,000 or 2,000 people to really hear my message and care about it, and maybe that's all I need, and that, that's, all I, or that's all I want or care about is who, who are the people that are interested in what I have to say and that I can help. And, and that, that's the way I, I kind of think about online web marketing that way, is more of a, of a finding, finding my tribe, finding that group of people that are interested in my ideas and what I have to say and find some value in it. And I'm, I'm not going to try to attempt to to, to sell that message. I don't think I have to sell that message to everybody. Which brings up the question of authenticity. How can companies think about authenticity in an online world? Yeah, that's interesting. From an online point of view, uh, well, there, you know, what, 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 is your, what is your website saying? I mean, do, they, do you connect in with people about why you're there in the first place? I like, to, I like Simon Sinek's idea of starting with why. He has this, this basic and very powerful model, I think, that talks about starting with why, why are you doing what you're doing, what's your purpose, and then getting to how you want to do it and, what, and ultimately then what you actually have, what your product or service is. So I think that online presence should start with the, with the why. Why are you doing what you're doing? I mean, as a, as a psychologist working with businesses, my basic why is I want to help people. I mean, my, my, core, my core purpose and passion as a psychologist my whole life, everything that I do, I've got this question running in the back of my mind almost constantly that says, how can I help? And I do it time and time again, not, not, not just with paying clients, but, but, but with friends that I'm meeting and interacting with. How can I help? I'm listening to them. What do they need? What can I do to help them uh, just become, uh, solve that problem, become a little more effective and uh, and so that, that's, that's what I think is a, is, is a good start in terms of online presence is, is getting at that early, starting with why. What, what's that, does that first page, when they look at that website and they have that first five, 10 second interaction, do they have a clear sense of who, of who you are? What's your purpose and passion is? What are your values and principles? All those things are at that level of, of why. It's that why. Gregory Bateson uh, developed a, uh, a model of six levels of how we operate in the world. And it's interesting because Simon Sinek's uh, model sort of is embedded in that. Uh, G Gregory Bateson talks about six levels. There's our environment, where and when we work, where, when and where are we doing things. Uh, uh, there's our behavior, what we do. So the what we do is at that second level. Then the third level are our skills, our abilities, our competencies, how we do things. And then that fourth level is why we do things, our beliefs. And then our fifth level is our identity. Who are we? And we have a sixth level of spirituality. Uh, what, who else is there? How are we helping other people? So if you think about this, uh, the Simon Sinek's 
why, how, and what. He's really right in the middle of those of that broader model. I, I like to think of that broader model of how we operate in the world. In order to sell your goods and services online, you must provide content that satisfies people's intellectual and emotional needs. Further, you need content that appeals to a number of personality types. And you have to do all of that without being phony. This is the reason your content comes first when considering your online presence. Before website design, before you make any videos, and certainly before you even think about social media campaigns. This is fundamental, foundational. If successful online marketing were a treasure map, there would be a giant X over content with a note that says, start here. If you like our stuff, click the subscribe button, then share it with your friends. Leave comments, questions, and more on the blog, at YouTube, or at the email address on the screen. Thanks for watching. Now get out and do something.